SEO and content creation is changing and it's changing really, really fast. Today I'm going to show you a little bot that I created and it's a fantastic little AI agent that does something really, really simple for me. And that is it actually produces posts for my social media. And I do use this for clients and I help other people use this bot as well. And it has a couple of elements, which I will keep secret. I'm sorry, but I'll show you the basic gist of it. But let's really have a look at what's going on here on the screen. The first thing I have is I have a Google sheet and on that Google sheet, you'll see that I have some keyword phrases here. Now they're very simple. They're just some keyword phrases that I've researched using different tools on the internet from trends through to answer the public and other sites like that. Then I've made a list of all these keywords and I've put them into a spreadsheet. In this case, I've got five here for this demonstration, but you can put a hundred of these so that quite frankly, as this bot runs, and if it runs once a day, you don't have to do anything for a hundred days. So it's a pretty simple tool and really, really powerful. You'll notice that I've gone and got keyword, article, and image there as my headings for those the different boxes, because as you'll see as I go forward, it will automatically save the article into the next field. Nice and simple, but at least you have a record of that post. If you ever want to go back and get it, you can use it again. Okay, so just coming back to our make.com window, and we've got our Google Sheets. And the first thing we're going to do is we're basically setting this up. We're linking it to the spreadsheet that we want to use. We're using the sheet number one, which of course is the default name of the sheets. You can rename your sheets, of course. Um, it tells that the table does have headers, which we saw keywords and article, etc. And we're going to start with A1 because that's where we're starting. And it will go and automatically, when this bot runs, and check that. Now, the first time it checks it, it'll take the first keyword in the list it finds. The next time, it will find the next keyword on the list and will continue on from that. And so on and so forth. So each day, it will slowly move down the list. Now... As it works its way down the list, it keeps adding the articles into the second column and so on and so forth. Pretty simple, isn't it? So that's our list of keywords and those keywords are going to be what our little posts are going to be about. The second thing is I'm going to use OpenAI and OpenAI, of course, is an artificial intelligence engine and it allows us to ask to do different things. So I'm going to connect to my OpenAI. I'm going to create a chat completion, which is one of the choices that I have here. And I'm using GPT 4.0 mini system, which is one of the latest models that are available. And then I've said, write a LinkedIn post about keyword AI. And that's referring to that keyword in that field in the spreadsheet. Uh, start with uh, an engaging statement or anecdote that captures the attention and sets the stage for your main point. Now, the rest of the prompt does go on a little bit further, but the whole idea is this is trying to write like a human. And how I developed this prompt was I went and collected a whole pile of people's posts and I fed them into ChatGPT and said, please analyze the framework of these posts and tell me what's common about them, what makes them so interesting, what makes them special, and then to write me a prompt that I can use with OpenAI to create posts like that. So pretty straightforward. I gave it what I wanted. I asked what I wanted, and then I got it to write the prompt. And that was the powerful tip, was getting it to write the prompt, because the result is a very nice human-sounding post. So we go ahead and we do that. And then I've linked this so that it comes back and it actually posts the post that it's written back into the Google spreadsheet. So we have a copy of that. Now, the reason I use Google Spreadsheets is because they're online and you can link to them. So you want things that you can attack from online, not just uh, from an offline perspective. So use Google Sheets. It's nice and easy. And you'll see it's taken the row number that you originally got the keyword from. And in the article column, it's posting the content that was created by OpenAI. And then comes the interesting part. This is where we can send it out to everywhere. We have a router in position here. I can send it to a Facebook page, I can send it into a company page or into my general feed on LinkedIn, wherever I want it to go, or I can create a Google Doc with it. Now, in this case, I've turned off both the LinkedIn and the Facebook page because I want to demonstrate this to you. So let's press play and see what happens. So you'll see this is spinning. It's now chosen. Leadership is never easy. 
So then come over to here to write the post, and it's written our post. Let's then put it back into here, and hey presto, it's gone into Google Docs. So let's go and have a look at the spreadsheet. And you can now see, here's the new article, all written out, even with our hashtags. Nice and simple, isn't it? So let's have a look at that file. The leadership is never easy. Double click on that and opens up. And you'll see that it's a really well written post. And it sounds a lot like a human's written it. Leadership can often feel like walking a tightrope, balancing expectations and responsibilities without falling into chaos. I remember a time when I was leading a project with a tight deadline, managing a diverse team with varying personalities and work styles. Okay, so it tells a story based on what it knows about me, because remember, this is using my chat GPT. And it produces a really, really nice post. So that's it. It's really quite simple. All I need to do now is set that so it goes daily at 7.30 a.m. And every day this will go off. It will write a post. And in this case, it will create a new Google Doc with that post in there. So if I turn that off and go disable route and I turn this one on and I turn this one on, it will now post that to my Facebook page and to my LinkedIn company page. So there you go. A simple AI agent that creates posts that sound like real humans have written them and automatically posts it to my social media. Now, if you want some help doing AI posts and you want some help with your AI and SEO skills, or you need a bot built, please feel free to contact me at mrwebmarketing.com. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.